Hello and welcome. Under Maryland State Law House Bill 270, enacted in 2017, titled Testing for Lead in Drinking Water, Public and Non-Public Schools, schools are required to periodically test the water from their drinking water outlets for lead and take appropriate remedial measures if the analysis of the testing indicates an elevated lead result at a drinking water outlet. In this video, we will be discussing what is considered an elevated lead result. In May of 2021, Maryland State Law House Bill 636, titled School Buildings, Drinking Water Outlets, Elevated Level of Lead, set the action level for lead in drinking water to five parts per billion, denoted as PPB, for Maryland schools that receive water from public utilities. As stated in the law, an elevated level of lead means the lead concentration in drinking water exceeds 5 parts per billion. Please note that the brackets indicate removal of the text within the law. A copy of the state law can be found using the link in the description below or on MDE's website. That being said, let's go over what is considered an elevated lead result under the law. Since the action level set by the law is 5, as opposed to 5.0 parts per billion, any result greater than or equal to 5.5 parts per billion would be considered elevated. This is because 5.5 rounds up to the nearest integer of 6, which exceeds the action level of 5 parts per billion. Additionally, if your lab reports the results to two decimal places, for example, 5.49 parts per billion, this would still be considered not elevated when it is rounded to the nearest integer of 5. It is important to note that labs often report the results in units other than parts per billion. First, parts per billion is equivalent to micrograms per liter. You may see micrograms per liter denoted as mu g per l or UG per L. Labs may also report the results in parts per million, which is equivalent to milligrams per liter. One part per billion equals 0 0.001 part per million. Similarly, five parts per billion is equal to 0 0.005 parts per million. To summarize, if your lab results are greater than or equal to 5.5 parts per billion or 0 0.0055 parts per million, it is considered elevated. When reporting results to MDE, please report the results exactly as they appear in the lab report, including all decimal places and units. Remember, UG per L is equivalent to PPB. Your lab results are typically going to be reported with decimal values and should be reported as such. If the laboratory reports a result as some variation of not detected, ND, or non-detect, this means that the lead concentration is less than the laboratory method reporting limit. This reporting limit is typically 5 parts per billion or less. Therefore, a result of not detected would not be considered elevated. There are several actions you will need to take once you receive the laboratory report with elevated lead results. The most immediate action your school will need to take is to close off access to any outlets with an elevated lead result within 24 hours of receiving the laboratory report. However, if the outlet is not used for consumption, then you may, instead, post appropriate signage at that outlet. Please see MDE's Rules and Example Signage for Outlets document on our website or linked in the description below for more details regarding when and where to appropriately post signage. For more information regarding the series of actions that will need to be taken after receiving elevated lead results, please see MDE's video titled, Steps to Take After Receiving an Elevated Lead in Drinking Water Result. 
Please note, when entering your sample result data into the Electronic Data Deliverable Excel spreadsheet, also referred to as the EDD, any elevated lead results will be highlighted and bolded in red font. However, please make sure you select the correct units when entering the results into the EDD. For more information, please visit our website linked in the video description below or contact us at reporting.leadschoolwater at maryland.gov. Thank you.